Hello, my name is Iga Garmov. I'm a retired professor after 40 years at the University of Colorado in Boulder. I joined the faculty at the University of Colorado in 1967 after graduating in biophysics and microbiology to join my father, George Garmov, who was also on the faculty in physics at the University of Colorado. Father is well known for his popularization of science, but probably most well known because he was the first one to give a physical model of the Big Bang Theory of the universe. While I was a professor there for almost 40 years, numerous, dozens of colleagues going to meetings and coming around campus past my office door would stop in and say, are you the son of George Gamow? And I would always say, whimsically, according to my mother. These people all informed me that they went into physics, into science, because they were enchanted with the popular books that my father had written, particularly the series of called Mr. Tompkins. Father had done three Mr. Tompkins series books, Mr. Tompkins' Wonderland, dedicated to Lewis Carroll and Niels Bohr, Mr. Tompkins Explores the Atom, and of course, Mr. Tompkins Learns the Facts of Life. His stories were all a little bit the same. Mr. Tompkins was a bank clerk, and his one passion was to go and hear popular science lectures. After the lectures, Mr. Tompkins would go home and have these wild dreams about meeting famous scientists. I took my father's idea of Tompkins having these wild dreams and turned it into a modern day comic book series. Where am I? Where indeed? Where indeed? Would you believe outside our solar system? Outside the solar system? Yes, on a small asteroid some five miles in diameter. Behold! That's impossible! And then a dialogue begins between Tompkins and Einstein, and it goes on discussing supernovas and black holes, expanding universes, and, and then when the alarm clock rings, he wakes up. And so Father had a series of dreams like that, Mr. Tompkins inside the atom, Mr. Tompkins sitting on a red blood cell going through his body, looking at the various organs. Father excited so many people by both educating them and entertaining them. And so I decided that it might be a good idea to reinvigorate Mr. Tompkins, get him a little bit more modern, buff him up a bit. So we decided to produce a comic book series. I say we because I have a very, very talented illustrator named Scorpio Steele, whose passion is comic books, and he's a wonderful graphic artist. And so the collaboration began that I would write the stories of Mr. Tompkins' various adventures with various scientists. So far we have done Mr. Tompkins with Einstein, Madame Curie, Rutherford, Darwin, Mendel, and finally two of my good colleagues, Watson and Crick. So it's a wonderful collaboration. Scorpio has always told me when we first started working together, maybe three years ago, I write it and he'll draw it. Our goal is to produce the next volume with Aristotle, Da Vinci, and Euclid. So the comic book form is applicable of people of all ages. I've had kids in the house going through these books who are eight, nine years old, and they just love it. And I've had a few Nobel Prize winners looking through the books also.